Hello, this is Doug Brook in Northstar DHI Services, and today we're going to be talking about PC Dart and the customizable cow page. Once PC Dart is open and we click on the cow page, we come to this first F1 general page. There is a bunch of information here in both the status tab or the test day tab, ID and genetic, and lactation information. What we're going to do is set up a customizable cow page. We have just one page that will have all this data in one location to look at and not have to move from one page to the next. When I right click someplace in the no data and go to setup, one thing I'm going to do in this upper left quadrant, I am going to display test day data. I'm actually going to give it a title for test day. And then if I say OK, all the test days for the current lactation for this particular cow. If I go over here and I'm going to set up repro and health records in this quadrant, what I have to do is go to health and status. I'm just going to call this one health records and say OK. Now we have all sorts of health records that are going to be showing up on this particular customizable cow page. So now if I go over to the center left column, right click and go to setup, I want to take this particular panel. What I want to do is look at health status records. I want to choose just utter records. So we're going to call this utter health records. And if I say OK, it's going to show me just utter health records that happen to be in the correct health code categories that have to deal with utter health. If I go over here and I want to do a setup in this particular column, what I want to have here is lactation information. So to be able to get lactation information, I have to know that there are some database items that I'm going to list. We're going to call this lactation information. The database items that I want to list are going to be number 74, which I have to choose from down here. I know it's going to be 74, so I add that also want 273. I have ahead of time decided what I wanted to have as database items to list. I'm just going to key those in and I can add that. If I want to look up lactation number, there it is. It pops up once I key in a number in the find box. There's my lactation number. If I want to look up lifetime milk and I just start keying in lifetime milk, I can add that too. I'm going to use number 76 also to add that. I'm going to use number 164, projected 305 day actual milk production as opposed to lactation to date. I also want to look up herd mate deviation. So I know that that is 171. So I'm going to add that, say OK. And now we have information in four panels that will have information for this particular cow. There are two more setup screens I'm going to be working with. This one, we're going to be looking at breeding information. There are some database items that I've already decided I want to add to that. We're going to title the panel Breeding Information. And the database items I want to have here, one is Repro Code. So I want to be able to add that, 27, which is then Recheck Code. I want to be able to have that on this particular screen also. I want to have database item 86, which is a times bred date and repro code also. I want to have a due date. So due date database item happens to be a number 87. I also want to look at number 88, which is service sire name code. So I want to know that. I also want to know number 89 which is first previous breeding, so I can add that. I'm going to use number 90. That's going to be second breeding. I'm going to use database item number 367, which is third previous, and also 368, which is fourth previous. When is the expected dry date for that cow? So I add that here. And I decide I don't want it here on the bottom, so I can go ahead and move that up right underneath the due date. So then I say OK. 
And now this particular cow, only 27 days in milk, does not have any information. But if I choose a different cow, we notice that the information changes. One more window I want to key in, and that's going to be genetic information. So here again, I'm using database items that I have to list. We're going to call this genetic information. What I want to have is number 56, which is going to be net merit for that animal. I'm going to try 57, which is going to be sire's net merit. Number 82 is another one of those database items I want to be able to list on this page. And that would be sire's name code. I want to do 71. And that's the dam's index, uh, 154. Dam's net merit, number 300, is a maternal grandsire code. There I have, when I say OK, I've got these six different panels set up. So for any cow I take a look at, that information is going to be there so that I don't have to click from tab to tab to tab to find out that information. Setting up a customizable cow page within PC Dart comes in the cow page. It's a Control F1 custom page. And there's all that information that is available for that particular cow for the data that we're looking for. And this is Doug Brook at North Star DHI. You may contact me at 1-800-471-3045, my office phone. Cell phone is 517-281-8547 or email at brookd at northstarcooperative.com. Thank you.